Okay, so now we need to get the BitVoice or libraries to the Arduino library folder. Um, when you install BitVoicer, it actually already put a copy of the library on your computer. So we need to navigate to the BitVoicer. You see it's BitSophia install folder. Here you'll see a library folder, so we need to go ahead and click that. And you see there's a BitVoicer folder here. So you can either click on this, right click, and hit copy, or you can click on it and hit control C. Okay. Now we need to get that to the Arduino library. So we're going to back all the way up to C. In my case, I'm on 64 bit Windows. So I have to go into x86, Arduino, libraries. And then you'd want to hit click in the folder and hit control V or right click and hit paste. Now I've already done that. So you see BitVoicer is here. Okay. There are no samples in this. Um, so normally where you'd go to your examples and stuff like that to pull up samples, there's not any there. Um, so one thing we want to do real quick is we want to create a folder. New folder. Let's say samples. Oh, actually, I think it's examples. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and create that folder there. Uh, when you do paste in here, sometimes it'll ask you for administrator permissions. Okay, um, so just go ahead and say okay to that. We'll use this examples folder later uh, when we create our first Arduino sketch. We'll save it in two places, so one of them is going to be here. But that's it. We now have the library uh, to BitVoicer and the Arduino. And that's it. And the next video, we will actually write a sketch.